Dark Blue World is a 2001 film by Czech director Jan Sverik, the Academy Award-winning director of Kolya, about Czech pilots who fought for the British Royal Air Force during the Second World War. The screenplay was written by Zdenek Sverik, the director's father. The film stars Czech actors Andrei Vecchi, Christoph Hadik, and Oldrich Kaiser. British actors include Tara Fitzgerald, Charles Dance, and Anna Massey. In 1950, during the Cold War, František Slama is incarcerated in Czechoslovakia, because of his prior service in the RAF. His recollections of the war begin in 1939, just days prior to the German invasion of Czechoslovakia. After the invasion, the Czechoslovak army is disbanded and its air force has to surrender its aircraft. However, Franta and his young friend Karl Vojtizek, among others, refuse to submit to their occupiers and flee to the United Kingdom to join the RAF. The British make the Czechoslovaks retrain from the basics. Which infuriates them, especially Karl, who is both impatient to fight the Germans and humiliated at being retaught what he already knows. Karl also sees the compulsory English language lessons as a pointless waste of his time. The RAF is in such a dire need of pilots during the Battle of Britain that eventually the Czechoslovak airmen are allowed to fly. After their first sortie they realize why the British have trained them so intensely, a young Czechoslovak nicknamed Tom Tom is shot down by a Messerschmitt BF-109 and killed. Franta becomes the unit commander, with the younger Karl under his charge. While shooting down a Heinkel He-111 bomber, Karl's Spitfire fighter aircraft is shot down. However, he manages to survive and find his way to a farm. There he meets and falls in love with Susan, although she thinks he is far too young. The next day, after returning to the aerodrome, Karl brings Franta to meet Susan. The latter begins to get attracted to Susan, although Karl believes that Susan is interested in him. Following a mission to France where the squadron attacks a train, Karl is shot down, but Franta lands and rescues him, a move that shows that their friendship endures. Soon after, however, Karl learns a sort of love triangle has developed, with Susan being involved with Franta, which leads to a quarrel between the two friends. Later in the war, while escorting American bombers, Franta Spitfire malfunctions, and he is forced to ditch into the ocean. His life raft bursts as he tries to inflate it, so Carl tries to drop his own raft, but he flies too low and fatally crashes. The raft emerges from the water, allowing Franta to survive. Afterward, when the war is over, Franta drives to Susan's home, only to find her with her injured husband recently returned from fighting overseas. Knowing he has no future with Susan and wanting to preserve her honor, he pretends to have lost his way and asks directions to the next town. Franta returns to Czechoslovakia and finds his old girlfriend has married the neighborhood Jobsworth, has given birth to a child, and has taken over Barka, his dog. All the disappointed Franta can do is endure the situation as stoically as he can. In prison, he only has his memories of his friendship with Carl to sustain him. A combination of computer imagery and full-scale aircraft was used for the aerial sequences. Principal photography for the film involved a large number of locations, Radkini Airport, Czech Republic, Dover, England, Germany, and South Africa. Dogfight footage from the 1969 film Battle of Britain was seamlessly integrated with contemporary film footage using computer imagery. And mastering to create the aerial sequences due to the prohibitively expensive cost of rending a real Spitfire. The scene of a train being attacked was the most expensive scene in Czech cinema history, costing more than the entire film Kolya. Brief scenes from the 1990 film Memphis Bell were also incorporated. Director Jan Sverik played a number of roles, including practically all the crew members of an allied North American B-25 Mitchell bomber in the scene where a damaged bomber is escorted. Dark Blue World opened in both the US and Europe at major international film festivals in London and Toronto, to generally positive reviews, making it one of the most popular aviation war films made. Rex Reed described the film in the New York Observer as an epic that blends action, romance and tragedy. Brilliantly directed and sublimely acted. Animator Hayao Miyazaki said that this is his favorite film. As it shows the speed and fragility of aircraft and the historic tragedy of the Czech pilots after the war. However, other reviewers were not as enthused. Leonard Maltin commented that the love triangle provided a more novel and interesting aspect but the surprisingly elaborate flying scenes helped make the film less of a capable but uninspired yarn. Not very different from other World War II features. Peter Bradshaw's review in The Guardian echoed a similar view, a by the numbers World War II romantic tale of two Czech pilots in love with the same British woman, which plays. 
like a mixture of Pearl Harbor and Two Little Boys by Rolf Harris. Dark Blue World was the most popular Czech film of the year with admissions of 1 million. It was released in the United States on December 28, 2001, and grossed $258,771. The film grossed $2,300,000 worldwide. Dark Blue World was a major winner at the 2002 Czech Lion Awards with Box Office Award, Critics Award Jan Sferik for Best Director, Vladimir Smutny for Best Cinematography, Andrei Sukup for Best Music and Alois Fiarek for Best Editing. The film was also nominated for Best Film, Andrei Vecchi for Best Actor, Christoph Hadig for Best Supporting Actor, Linda Rebova for Best Supporting Actress, Zbinek Mikulik for Best Sound, Vera Morova for Best Costumes and Jan Vlasic for Best Art Direction. Dark Blue World also won the 2001 National Board Review Award for Best Foreign Film and the 2002 Love is Folly International Film Festival, Golden Aphrodite Award for Jan Sferic. Andre Vecchi was also nominated for the Audience Award in the 2001 European Film Awards. Thanks for watching.